This is Jack when he turns six. Here's Jack holding me, saying hi. Here's Daddy with Jack. Huh? What was your name? Etta. Etta. Oh, Are you holding Sissy's hand? Give her a kiss. I think I always, I was the little girl that always, you know, played out life through the role of a mother. So I kind of always knew that I wanted to have kids. The first time I hold him, I just it melted, just melted. And I held him and I was like, he's strong. He is so strong. He had this ear to ear smile. He drew people in. He was always laughing and giggling and goofing around. And uh, he'd get really excited and, and run around. And I think he's just, I think he's gorgeous. He's just, you know, beautiful boy. It was January 23rd, um, 2009. And um, at that point, they shared that he had Hunter syndrome, and I didn't hear half of what was said. And then I just heard, there's no cure, you know, go home and love him. Hunter syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that my son Jack, who's nine, suffers from. So it affects him from head to toe, from his movement to his speech to uh, his hearing to his cognitive ability. At that point, we knew that we were going to do everything we could for him. I read every day and every note, and I, I just became obsessed, like truly. MPS mom, right there, calling people, interviewing people, trying to find my team. I read about Barbara Burton, and she was willing to do a lot of experimental treatment. And so we came out and we met her, and I immediately connected with her. She said, I will do whatever to help you guys. And I was like, this is who we want. This is who needs to be on our team. Regression was sitting right in front of us. The goal was to maintain. Like, let's maintain what he has. IT was just starting to unfold. We're like, OK, this is it. We knew we had to be in Chicago. We had our house up for sale. And Jason left his job and packed everything up, all of our memories, and left all of our friends and support systems and everything that we knew. I committed my entire self. I said, I'm not going to watch him die. We started to watch the regression, and that made it really difficult to continue to focus on fundraising, gene therapy, hope. 
These boys, you know, severe hunter syndrome, they don't live much past 10. And um, um, so that, that's, that's been, this will be a hard one. This will be a, they're all the birthdays are hard. This will be a really hard one. But it's happened so fast from there. And uh, all we've been through, it just, it's, it's like a blink of an eye. The smile that he was giving us all along became a total different smile, a total different appreciation for that smile. And the bigger picture, it starts to unravel in front of your eyes. As scary as it seems to watch your child die, that there's this tremendous amount of beauty in it too. But the suffering and the pain goes away. Do I want to find Jack dead in the morning and he passes in his sleep? Or do I want to be with him and hold him and watch him take his last breath? I just want to be present and I want to be with him. Thank you.